Good morning, you guys. Today is day 11, February 12th. I already have my topic papers on the treadmill, so let's get started with our walk and talk. Okay, so first we'll get started with the treadmill. Starting it up. Now let's see how this sounds. All oiled up, all right, so starting off with speed three. And going up to speed four. Okay, so if you look back at some of my videos, you'll see the setup of my treadmill and you'll see that I have a little circle and in the middle it says speed. And I can start off with one, three, five, seven, nine, or 11, and then increase from there. Okay, so that's just what I did today. Okay, so I did not weigh myself yesterday. I weighed myself on day nine, and my weight was 174.1, and today I weighed in at 173.9, so not that much of a change in between the uh, two days, or the day, because today, like I said, it is a day 11. Okay, so um, not exactly two days just yet. Okay, so yesterday we left off with the equalizer that released in 2014. And today is, I guess you can say day two, part two, whatever you want to call it, of favorite movies with Denzel Washington in them. Okay, so on this front page here, I already, like I said, did the equalizer, so I'm going to turn this over. And today we're gonna to start off with the Equalizer 2. Okay, so the Equalizer 2 was released on July 20th, 2018. It is rated R, and it is also listed as an action slash thriller movie. It was two hours and nine minutes long. Okay, so recap. We already know that Denzel plays Robert McCall. And that he is a, you want to make sure I get this right. Just looking down here. So I just want to run and put down the back page. Well, let's see. Let's see what I wrote on the uh, on the back of this page because I'm looking here and I thought I wrote down what he was. He specializes in criminology. Okay, so, um, and I think it was like a specific type of thing. Um, yeah, I don't see it. But that's basically what he does. And, yeah, that's so odd. I thought it was on this piece of paper. You know what, maybe I'll come across it on the back. Okay, so, like I said at the end, of the equalizer that I talked about yesterday, he helps people that can't help themselves. Okay, so um, I guess people come to him and they have no else to turn. Once he's done, justice has been searched. But this time, his best friend and former colleague, Susan Plummer, was killed by a group of thugs. And now he's out for revenge against a group of highly trained assassins who have set their sights on destroying him and they will stop at nothing to do just that. So, why did they kill Susan? Was it just to get back at him for something that he did in the past? Was it for something she did in the past? Or was it for no reason at all? Was Susan just an innocent bystander? If you want to know, watch The Equalizer 2. Okay, so yeah, so I see I didn't write down what he did, but it was very specific. Okay, so now, and you guys, so, uh, surprise, surprise, <laughs> I almost read that wrong. Um, this year, yes, this year, oh, I think that, oh, yeah, there goes the rest of that salt. Okay, so I think <laughs> I had a little bit too much salt this morning. Um, and if you're wondering why do you do that, because I am allergic to seafood, I have a high seafood allergy, and um, if you are allergic to seafood, you're alone iodine, okay, I think the more allergic you are, then I guess the more 
uh, I don't want to say iodine deficient you are, but the lower you are in iodine. And so they recommend that you use table salt. Like I said, the one thing that they tell you is not good for you. Well, lo and behold, if you're allergic to seafood, that's exactly what you need. Okay, I do prefer, like I said, sea salt and season salt, but I did find that what we call table salt or the regular salt that um, the iodized is what you need if you are allergic to seafood. Okay, so anyway, like I said, surprise, surprise, this year on September 1st, 2023, they are releasing the Equalizer 3. You guys look at the timing, right? Um, I did not know that before I decided to start splitting up the walk and talks into individual people and not just individual topics. Okay, so um, it was confirmed in early 2022 that the movie will be made with Antoine, the director, who is also one of the producers, who is listed after Denzel. So Denzel is listed as the first producer. So in a sense, this is kind of his movie. I know that there are other producers listed with him, but like I said, Denzel is listed first. I also wanted to make sure that I mentioned Dakota Fanning, who will also be starring in this movie. And uh, Denzel and Dakota are returning to the big screen for the first time since Man on Fire, which was released in 2004. Okay, so next up, you guys, this is a movie that I probably should have started off with yesterday. Okay, because remember I told you guys I like detective work. Um, I'm really into like solving mysteries and stuff like that. Okay, so um, you guys, make sure you're sitting back for this one. The Bunk Collector. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. You guys, this, this movie is um, it's unique. Okay, so it's one of my favorite movies by Denzel. Or I should say with Denzel in it. Um, yeah, like I said, it should have been listed yesterday on yesterday's videos. First, let's start with the rating. It's rated R. It's listed as a thriller. It's one hour and 58 minutes long, but it feels like it's longer when you're watching it. We'll go to page two here because page one was, like I said, equalizer. So we're going to go to this page. And yes, I made a lot of notes. You guys can see that. I just realized. But yes, a lot of notes. Okay, so it was released on November 2nd, 1999. Remember how I said that Denzel and Queen Latifah should do a movie together? And I may have mentioned that there's a possibility that they may have done a movie together. Well, if I had started with The Bone Collector, I wouldn't have said that. Okay, because I completely forgot that they were in that movie or together. Okay, it's oops, right? So, The Bone Collector stars Denzel, Queen Latifah, and Angelina Jolie. The plot. Police officer Amelia Adami, played by Angelina Jolie, is seriously on the trail of a serial killer. He's, oh, I was gonna say his name is actually, um, what I did was, not only does my print, you guys, once I learned how to write cursive, my print just kind of went downhill, um, but I wrote, I wrote them too, too close together, okay? So there's no lines on this paper. I know you guys can see them, this is like printing paper. Okay, so I'm gonna try and just like follow this. Um, after a while, I think I got a little, yeah, I even got a little bit down here. Okay, so anyway, his calling card is a small piece of bone that he takes from his victims. Amelia is unable to decipher the mysterious clues the killer leaves behind at the scene of the crime. Amelia goes to Lincoln Bryan, played by Denzel, for help, who is a, okay, so I did, I wrote it in this one, um, a forensic criminology expert. Okay, so I'm going to actually have to make um, hmm, a correction because I think <laughs> I think I said he did criminology in uh, the equalizer and he didn't. Okay, so if I said that, then oops, I think I forgot that I wasn't down to the bone collector yet. Okay, so just in case I messed up, yeah, I'm fixing it now. All right, so this is where he is the criminology expert. Okay, and he is also a quadriplegic. 
So Lincoln can't go to the crime scenes, but Amelia can. And of course, she has to because she's a police officer on the case. They work on the clues together and try to figure out who the next victim will be. Queen Latifah, don't think I forgot about her, she plays Thelma. Thelma is Lincoln's nurse. She helps with clues, takes care of Lincoln, and tries her hardest, you guys, to keep Lincoln alive. Because Lincoln has health issues, aside from the fact that he's quadriplegic. What are Lincoln's health issues? Do any of his victims survive? Do they catch the serial killer? If you want to know, watch The Bone Collector. Okay, so we'll do the minutes and then we'll get back down here. So I'm at 10 minutes and four seconds, 0.65 in distance and 46.2 calories. Okay, so what do I like about the movie? I used to want to be a detective, I already stated that. After that, I decided that I wanted to go into forensics. I heard that you make more in the field, then I heard that you make more in the lab. Either way, I have a weak stomach. So I couldn't decide between the two, but I thought forensics sounds cool. Well, let me tell you guys, after I saw this movie, I was like, oh no, I'm cool. Mm -mm. No, there's no way that I'm going into the places where she went, Amelia. And there's no way that I'm going after a serial killer, okay? Mm -mm. No. Um, definitely don't want the attention to one, right? So I just said, let me cross run this like off the list of careers that I had in mind, what I wanted to do. Um, because like I said, I believe, let me go back here since I, uh, let me make sure that I have the correct information. Yes, okay. So by, let's see, November 2nd, 1999. Oh no, I haven't graduated from high school yet. Okay, so yeah, I was, like I said, looking at careers. And um, yeah, mm -mm. no, 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 I'll leave that one alone. Okay, I'm going to tell you that if you have not seen this movie and you want to watch it, um, if you scare easy, don't watch this movie by yourself and do not watch it at night. Okay, so um, like I said, it's an excellent movie if you like mysteries and solving crimes. Okay, so I'm at 12 minutes and 11 seconds. 0.79 for the distance and 56 calories. And um, we can do, let's hold this up here so I don't cover up the screen. There's a little light on the screen, but it's not really that bright. Not as bright as it would be if it was like darker in here. So we'll do a pulse reading and uh, we'll see what my pulse is. Still, still popping up numbers. Okay, so it evened out at 73. And then it just jumped to 74 when I took my hands off. Um, okay, so yeah. Um, as much as I wrote, you guys, I thought that I would have more, uh, I should say actually less, I'm looking at the time, less time, because I wrote more. So we're at 13 minutes, point eight. Six seconds and 60.7.9 calories. Um, okay, so tomorrow. I'm thinking about doing mm, Man on Fire. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do um, Out of Time. And actually, I think Out of Time is not even on that list on my phone. Uh, if I go back to the Google page. So I'm not sure of what movies I will do then. And I haven't actually, you guys, I forgot to research to see if he was in any TV shows. But the thing is, if I don't remember anything about the TV show, 
Um, even if I read about it, and I don't know if I'm going to do it. Maybe I will. Um, I might, like I said, come across something be just a surprise to you guys. Or like, oh, I didn't even know he was like on a TV show for a while. So um, as big of a fan as I am of his, you would think I would know that. But um, I just kind of stick to movies. And then my TV shows, I kind of stick to certain ones that I like to watch. Like I'll binge watch like a whole series if I can, especially if it's on Netflix. Okay, so um, we have to fill up some more this time. And uh, you know what? Well, no, I was going to say, let's see what I remember about Men on Fire. But all I remember is the picture of the cover that's on, <laughs> on the web page. Okay, so yeah, we can't do that. Because I was going to check accuracy and see what did I remember without actually going to look to see exactly like what the plot was of the movie. But that one, um, yeah, I don't really remember <laughs> anything about it. So um, yeah, that's all. But we're at 15 minutes. 0.98 distance and 69.4 calories. Okay, so um, I don't know, you guys. Well, I will say that, uh, yeah, today I wasn't playing with this RV garage. No, mm -mm. my son was telling me yesterday that the reason why it's so cold in here is because the ceilings are so high, or the ceiling is so high. Um, I was actually looking because this one is a little lower than over there. I guess they do that for like, that would be like where the RV kind of is too. And come to think of it, I don't know, maybe they didn't want to make it the high, but there's a room above my head. Okay, so um, that might be, may possibly be why they decided to do this a little bit lower, so the room would be like way far up, right? And those stairs right there are steep enough as it is. Okay, so I guess that will make sense because it's, it's up pretty high. Um, I mean, I'm on top of the treadmill, as you guys can see, and I don't know. I don't want to call it, but I think I'd say maybe a foot and a half to two feet more above my head um, is the ceiling and then the floors above that. So yeah, I saw about that, about this room up here. But, um, oh my gosh. So I was not planning to have that much time left. I thought I, I wrote enough. Um, oh, well, I did forget to tell you guys, okay, so the avatar that you guys see. Um, I started off as just like a little project. And on the Z Fold 2, if you go into the spot camera app, there's a thing called AR Zone. And AR Zone is where you can create your avatar. Um, well, no, that's something different. I was going to say emoji, but that, that's actually separate. Okay, so. You click on, there's one, I think it's like, where it gives you the option. It's Oh, it's called like the AR camera or something like that. And then you can do all types of cool things. Um, I think what I did was like I went in to edit a movie, or not a movie, I'm sorry, I was thinking about topics of movies, right? To edit a video, and then I clicked on the little happy face, and then I clicked on stickers, and then it kind of just went from there. And it took me, and I only people say the back way, like into... Um, that section, like I don't think I created it actually going through the air zone, but it, that's where it is. If you, I think you can go in and do it from there too. Um, there's like a little, and it's small, it's like a little man, and it has like little stars around it. And um, you'll have options out the bottom, like mask, mirror, play. And like I said, that sort of with, with the little man and stars, it's small, so you click on that, and then you can go in through there, and like I said, and uh, it actually pulls up. Uh, the avatar. Now, I don't know what happens if you haven't created one yet, but if you have, that's where you can like change the clothes, the shoes, um, the earrings and stuff like that. And I want to say, I want to say that might be where you can change your appearance because I thought once you made it, like you couldn't change it, but I have not tested that. That might actually be where you can go and do that. Like say you want to change the color of the hair or something like that. So, um, yeah, so anyway, the only difference like I, I would say between like the hairstyle of the avatar and of my hair is that her braids are on the left and then like I said in the video and pictures, when you edit them, you can flip over. You can flip over, I think it's like any sticker. So I flip her over so her braids are on the right because my short side is on the side. And I get designs. 
So that's the closest hair style I could find. Uh, the blue, I could have went darker, but I have some bright blue, like that color of her hair, and so I just stuck with that. That's why it's like, it's so bright. So um, they have this really cool thing where it's uh, kind of like Facebook in a sense, where they have pre-loaded clothes, and then, uh, but on here, you can purchase clothes. And I thought, I'm not gonna, you know, purchase clothes. I'm just gonna go with whatever they have here. But they have a thing where it says combine. It's like the first little circle at the bottom. And um, that's where you can customize the clothes. Okay, so they just provide, you start with like a blank slate with a sweater, pair of pants, pair of shoes. Um, there's not that many shoes in there for options, like some boots, some tennis shoes. Um, I don't even know what those are supposed to be, some slippers or something like that. <clears throat> Excuse me, and so you go in there, and when you click on whatever clothing item you want to customize, then it starts off and it's like a white or like a light gray. And then you click next, and you can go in and you can pick the color. Do you want to pick a solid color? Do you want to pick um, a pattern? Or do you want to put like a little design on it? And it'll kind of place like the little design where you uh, where it wants to, okay? But if you click on the pencil, you can draw. So that's what I did with the one that you will see um, at the beginning of the video for today and for yesterday. I kept the same clothes on her. I actually sat through you guys with my phone and with my finger. I gave you a stylus. Um, I like wrote the words on there. I think it says love. So. I learned, depending on where you write it, it will place it at a different place on the clothing. Okay, so um, the only way you can control, like, if you want it just mainly on one side is if you go into the part that says, I think, um, let's see, one says patterns and one says, I think, decorations or something like that. And then it'll end up, I think, on, let's see, it's facing me. So it'll end up, like, on the left leg over here on the side. But if you choose to draw, even in the decorations, then it'll just be like wherever it pops up. Like I said, you can kind of control it. So, you know, if you write it horizontal, it'll go across horizontal. Now, of course, you're expecting for it to be just maybe one time, but then um, in the pattern part, but it'll be like horizontal, like all the way across, all the way down the pants or whatever. Um, it just kind of, it's odd. <coughs> Excuse me, I can't, um, I don't know you guys, like I said, I can, I can taste that salt, and my voice this morning just doesn't want to stay. Um, usually I kind of like just walk around the house, talk, kind of think of like what I'm going to say. Um, I've noticed that if I write something down, that I actually <laughs> have a lot more time left than expected. Um, you would think that I would have had less time left on the treadmill, but no. So yeah, anyways, I started doing that and um, it's kind of cool. You can go from your gallery and then you can decide like how big or how small you want the picture. Um, it starts off as like a whole bunch of little pictures like on the sweater or like I said, the shirt or whatever you pick. And then you can like, you can zoom in and you can zoom out. It's kind of hard because you're doing that, that pinch zoom and out thing. And uh, then you can save it and you can tell it to either uh, try it on the avatar, or you can say not now, and it just stays into your little area that says mine. And you can do this with the shoes too, so you can draw actually, and um, or put pictures on there as well. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I think there's one other thing you can do, and I was trying to remember what it was. So you can draw, you can add in the picture, and yeah, I think that's it. Okay, and then there is another part where you can go, I think you gotta go into Arizona, go into like the, the part where um, they actually have dances. And you click on one and it'll show like your avatar doing the dance that was made up. Um, I don't think you can make up a dance yourself. And I noticed that the avatar doesn't really like mimic movements very well. Like if you're doing this, that's something simple for it. If you, uh, well I can't do it on here, but if you make your legs go out to the side, then you'll see that they can do that. But if, let's say, you start to like jog in place or something, that's a little harder for it to do. So I don't know if we're gonna do any updates and make it to where 
the avatar can mimic your movements faster. Um, but yeah, so I thought that was really cool. I don't know if I actually mentioned that that I started, I may have mentioned Avatar, but I don't think that I mentioned that I started customizing like her clothes. And some of the stuff, okay, so what I did this morning was um, a jacket that I already had. Okay, so that's not my design. I didn't sit there and do all of that by hand. Um, you know, that was a picture I took. And um, I did like the DKNY thing of a sweater I had. So those, of course, I would say, yeah, the placement of where it is, you know, um, will be kind of my design, but it'd be whoever kind of made it too as well because that's kind of like where I got it from. Okay, so um, I found that you kind of run out of things to write on these clothes and to draw. So um, I also thought it'd be kind of neat if she has something similar to some outfits I had. So um, it's a little bit, a little different. It's not going to look exactly the same and you might find that it's flipped. So, like, I know for one, I think the bear, I think there's like a bear on this side, and then I think it says like, uh, rise and shine on this side. And I believe on the avatar, on her sweater, it's flip-flopped. Because you can kind of move it to the left and right, and you can move it up and down as you do your pinch doing now. And that's with the pants also, that's with the shoes as well. So, I thought it was kind of unique. But yeah, so which ones did I do? So I told you guys I didn't love. Like I said, I, I hand wrote that, picked the colors, and did that with my finger. And then um, the one with the hearts, okay, you're gonna see her with one coming up in a couple of days with like hearts and her and stuff like that in, in her pants. I drew that heart by hand. And then um, I don't think, I'm trying to think if I did anything else, like, like I said, literally by hand. I probably should get like that. I have a precise stylus. And I mean, this thing is, you guys, it's a precise stylus. Um, so the precise stylus is where there will be, there's a, a disc, like a plastic disc underneath the part that looks like a pen. And it's pretty accurate. And then the other end is the regular one, you know, the rubber tip. And then, like, if you screw that off, like, it turns into a writing pen. So this thing does, like, all this kind of cool thing. So if I find it, then maybe I'll start to use that because it's kind of hard to draw with your finger. Um, so, yeah, I'm thinking about doing that. Um, but the, the other one is, it's, um, like, one of the point friends. I have this, like, this really cool sweater that I like. And I couldn't exactly get it because on my sweater, there's... I don't know if you want to say, I guess black and white stripes on the cuffs and on the neck. Okay, so I don't think that shows up like on her outfit. But I did take a picture of that and then I think I did like some, I thought there's some pants to match, but I don't think I did. I did shoes. Um, I think they're like ankle boots or something like that. And then you can see like a little picture and I think it might, you might be able to see some part of the Winnie Pooh. I was trying to remember what part of the Winnie the Pooh you see, but I can't remember, but it is on there. So that wasn't my design either. None of you guys have not that skilled. Um, I'm not saying it's not possible to get close, but I believe you're giving credit where it's due. So that I did do, but I did place it on there myself. Like I did that by hand. I decided how far to blow the picture. I decided where to place uh, the picture on the shoes and stuff like that. Same thing with the DKNY and the other one that says the little teddy bear and the rise and shine on it. So I, I played a, a little part in so far as, I guess you can say, like decorating the outfit basically. So um, yeah, it's kind of neat. And um, I've noticed, like if you want to do a sticker and if she has like any, uh, I guess I think they are GIFs, GIFs then when you put it on your video or in your picture, it doesn't move. So I haven't figured out how to get it to move because there should be one, I believe yesterday, in the beginning of the video, right before I started walking on the treadmill, it shows her like in a pose of jogging, but that actually is a gif of her jogging like that. So I haven't figured out how to, I've hic got hiccups and everything today. Um, I haven't figured out how to get that to move. That's supposed to move. That's what I, I was going for. 
and um, yeah, I didn't do that. But then again, um, I have the problem with this, okay, this uh, elliptical being in the way. So I might actually have to drag this thing out of the way. I might do that today and then do like a little short 10 second video with just like a treadmill or something like that, obviously. Um, well, no, it would be, it would be easy to move, but the treadmill is kind of part of the thing, right? We're walking, so I think I'll leave this here. You just lift this thing up. I'm walking on the park with the belt, and then there's like some wheels on there. You can roll this thing all over. So um, it looks heavy, but once you get it lifted up upright, it's not too bad. Okay, so we're looking at 29 minutes, 1.92 distance, and 134 calories. And um, so, yeah, the next part coming up will, like I said, be favorite movies with Ifsh Alba. And then I know I said I have to do like favorite movies and TV shows with Tifa. And if there's any TV shows interested, then I'll do that. Um, just kind of give you guys like a uh, what's coming up next type thing. So I know I said that in the other video, but um, you'll probably hear me say it at some point in the video of that day, um, especially since. I don't know, you guys. I think maybe I'll have to pick like a couple of movies. Maybe if I, I think even if I pick like three or four movies, probably four, like I think maybe five, I still will probably barely make it to 40 minutes. So maybe I'll end up doing just like random topics at the end, like I'm doing today, because I'm finding, like I said, as structured as I am. Like I literally sat down. Um, we were on the phone with a relative and I was writing and you know they were talking and stuff like that and I was kind of you know of course I was talking to the person that we were on the phone with but I was also writing at the same time and I thought oh yeah you know um will that be two and a half pages almost yeah that'll fill the time and you know it didn't papers already over there to the side so yeah we'll probably just do like random topics um at the end and I'll have to pick something for tomorrow I'll see what I come up with but um, we're finally at 30 minutes, 38 seconds, 2.02 miles, and 141 calories. Um, let's do another pulse reading here. Ooh, this seems shocking. This is going to be worse in the summertime and spring. Okay, so 72 is safe pretty even. Um, so, also with the the AR with the uh, Avatar that I have, you can do play, and so you like focus it toward, let's say, a part of your room, and it'll tell you like angle the camera here and there a little bit, and then she or he, whatever you know, Avatar you make, because you can actually do. Um, they have like little weird little uh, animals. Um, I can't even think of what they remind me of. There's something specific, a cartoon or something that they remind me of. They're like little cartoon characters. Um, not specific ones. You're not going to go in there and say, oh, wow, you know, they have Mulan in here. No, it's just random. Like uh, something that might look like a little teddy bear, possibly. But more like a really animated one. It kind of reminds me of uh, Mario Kart. Not the characters, but the way they are, like whether they're three, four, somewhere in between there like that, but that's what it reminds me of, and they're short. And so, um, with your own, like I said, your own avatar that you make, they'll plop it down onto the floor, and then it'll tell you, like, draw a path. And you want to have your volume up for this, because it's actually pretty funny. So, you draw, like, a little path, let's say you make a little S or whatever, and then your avatar will actually, like, start to dance some just random music. And I haven't found where you can change the music, if you can change it at all. There's a little music note, and if you push that, that just decides whether the volume's up or whether it's down. When I say up or down, I mean either it's up where you can hear it or it's down where you can't. And the same thing for, like, if you want to, like, show your avatar doing one of the dances in the, um, and I'm going call it the AR Studios, there's, like, there's options in this AR zone when you get to the first page. It's the one that's all the way to the top right. So. You can decide if you want to save it with the sound on or the sound off. And uh, the same thing you can do in the play part. When you go into the, um, I think it's like this is Avatar or create a video or AR 
camera or something like that, avatar camera or something, I just went to the top left. So yeah, it just starts doing these random dances and just starts to dance along the path that you draw. So I thought it was going to be like a, like a game, like it's, I don't know, um, almost, why well, don't want to say like a, the Candy Crush type thing, but where maybe it has to catch something or maybe it has to like, that'd be kind of cool if it can make some food or something like that or just something different. Um, I didn't really think it was just going to be like, oh, you know, you're just picking and play. And it just goes through a cycle, like I said, songs. But what would be really neat is if you could pick your own song. Because then I thought, oh, I'll attach this to video. But of course, back to copyright issues, right? So um, I'm not sure if I want to do that. Because there was one I found yesterday. She was break dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of them, uh, not the play, but some of them in, like, like I said, the Avatar Studio or AR zone, whatever it's called, the top right, uh, when you click, I think it's like create a video, that's where it'll have all those little dances at the bottom. And if there's two people, it'll just like duplicate your avatar. And so they'll be dancing together and it'll look like that it has a twin. So yeah, down in there, um, it, there's a whole bunch of different squares that you can click on. and. If it doesn't say that it's one minute, I guess it's only like 15 seconds. Well, 15 seconds, let me tell you, she was breaking it down. And I was like, I have to save this. So I saved one with the music and I saved one without it. And I sent the one with music to my sister. And I was trying to decide if I was going to you know, add that in. So maybe in the next couple days, that uh, my little intro clip, you guys might see her. And if I find out that I can do it like without the music and there's no copyright issues, I'll have to do like that Creative Commons at attribution thing then maybe I'll put it on there so you guys can see. Um, I thought it was really cool that I found that. I don't know, it seems like maybe they added more or maybe I just didn't scroll over far enough because I didn't see that in the days before that, but I was kind of more focused on uh, the clothes, customizing those. So, um, but yeah, with the customizations, like I said, there's t-shirts, there's tights, there's sweats, um, there's one of these like, kind of like some sweat capri slash thing or something like that. And uh, there's dresses. There are all types of clothes in there that you can, you know, customize and decide, you know, what you want to do with them. So we're at 35 minutes, 47 seconds, 2.36 for the distance, 164 calories. But yeah, AR Zone. Check it out on your, I don't know, I don't know if any other phone has it on their stock camera app with the, uh, What's in the phone besides the Z Fold 2? Okay, so you click on the camera and then you click on more. You have to slide all the way over past the video and everything like that. And then you'll see like Big Speed Vision or something like that. And Big Speed is so annoying because it starts to try to take over your phone once it gets to going. So um, I disabled, I think like Big Speed Voice or something like that because I tapped on it thinking I could kind of control what I wanted to do. It was like, oh, you want to cancel or set settings and it's possibly random. And so I actually had to just disable Big Speed Voice altogether so it would stop doing that. So I made sure I don't click on that even in the camera app. But Arizona is right next to it. It's at the very, very top of the screen. And yeah, go there and play around and you might see some stuff you want to add if you make videos. Um, so yeah, just in case I haven't mentioned that, I don't think I went that far into detail. Okay, so we're required to repeat it, sorry about that, but um, Mainly what I look for, like when I get ready to edit videos, is do I, like I seriously messed up like yesterday. It was funny. I thought that I messed up on the time. And I was just telling you guys how much time we had left because I had to stop. I believe that was yesterday. And then I had to, of course, pause and come back. So um, I was happy that I paused because I remember it all ended up being one video. Um, yeah, because I was thinking, oh my gosh, oh no. The first was 16, the next one was like 43. And I thought it totaled over an hour, and it didn't. Simply because, you know, I pushed the pause button. Like I said, it really helps when you record on your phone in airplane mode. Okay, so um, just kind of try to schedule it. Obviously, when you're not expecting a phone call or something like that. And that will give you that range, that free range to be able to pause almost as long as you want. And, you know, things like that. Just kind of watch your battery. But, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And sleep-wise, um... I am sleeping 
more through the night if I sleep, if, I'm, if I actually fall asleep. And I'm not like waking up. Um, every now and then, we'll say every two to three days, I'll wake up throughout the night. So far as the incline, uh, for some reason, like I said, I still feel it more on the left leg. Like I said, I think maybe it might just be me turned this way, or maybe my left leg is strengthening up faster than the right. Uh, maybe, I don't know. So I'm not quite sure why I still feel it more in the left than I do in the right. And you can definitely, like I said, the incline is just enough for you to feel it. Like I said, it is in a slope. Um, this is the manual incline treadmill. So you can actually incline it towards all even. But the whole point of this was to be slanted like that, as I said. So, um, yeah, I feel it more in my left leg, my whole left foot, my left foot, everything. The fact that I'm like walking slightly at an upward angle. So, um, like I said, I am slowing down. And I think when I started off, I was like, what was it, 178.1 or something like that? Because I weighed myself holding my phone the day before, and the phone only, only added like 0.2. So maybe tomorrow what I'll do is I will actually weigh myself and then grab my camera and see if I can catch a picture because like I said, I have that Omada scale and it sends it to the Omada app to where like your health book and stuff like that can see it and where you can see and see your progress and it has like a graph, right? So I may be able to catch the weight before it sends off and the screen goes blank again. But like this morning, it happened really fast. Usually it's there for a minute. Usually I could write down the weight and then still have time to take a picture and know you guys when I was writing it down it went away so I might have to take a picture first and then go ahead and write down the weight because I can always go to the app and check and see what the weight is if it's on the screen anymore so I'm gonna, we'll see about that tomorrow and yeah you guys I'm excited I'm coming up what close to the two week mark so we'll just see how things go like I said but we are at 40 minutes in five seconds, 2.65 miles, 184 calories, and I won't do my pulse because I did that twice today. I'll go ahead and stop this. Okay, yeah, so you guys, I'm gonna have to wing it because it seems like no matter how much I write on my notes, I still have a lot of time left. So, like I said, maybe I'll just have like random topics, like, you know, like I said, like I did today. Um, I wasn't expecting to have that time. I really thought that I actually be closer to maybe like 30 or 40 minutes. I actually thought I would make it to 40 minutes and still be talking about those, um, those movies. And I know I only picked two, but at the same time, I had a lot to say kind of about the bone collector. So, like I said, the, so the two movies today, but as a recap, were the Equalizer 2, the fact that they're coming out with the Equalizer 3 this year in September, and then I also talked about the Home Collector. Okay, so I will see you guys later. It'll be kind of interesting to see what happens, um, because if I do see that movie, the Equalizer 3, like right when it first comes out, then maybe I'll have to just, you know, mention that later and add that in. And I don't know, you guys, um, so the challenge, the challenge as you know, 15, 440, right? 15 incline, four speed, 40 minutes for 730 days. But really the challenge is so far is, am I gonna have close to or exactly 730 videos? And then also topics, you guys. Um, I don't know, I'm gonna have to get, like I said, more creative. But I am getting more and more ideas as I come up with things along. I'm just gonna have to have filler time, you know? So yeah, if you guys decide to record, then uh, let me know, leave me your link so I can see how you guys are doing. Um, health is important, and I think, you know, once you hit 40, if you haven't been, you know, like, trying to take care of yourself and stuff like that, I think, just try. Um, a little effort goes a long way, that's all I can tell you guys. But, you guys, that is it, and thank you for watching, and I will see you tomorrow for day 12. Have a great day.